story of rabbit and coyote. A little later, he 
got up and went to look for Rabbit once again. He found him on the edge of the hill, resting next to a huge rock. When he saw him, Rabbit jumped up and put his hands on the rock, saying, Don't eat me. Can't you see that if I don't pull up this rock, the it will fall and the world will end? What you should do is to help me. He told Coyote to hold up the rock while he got some help. Coyote believed him and hand held up the rock while Rabbit ran. When Rabbit did return, Coyote let go of the rock. Although tired and angry, he went looking for Rabbit. It was getting dark when Coyote found Rabbit on the banks of the pond. He was about to eat him up when Rabbit said, Why are you going to eat me, brother? I was waiting for you so we could eat that cheese over there. The rabbit pointed to the moon reflecting on the water. But we have to drink up its way in order to get the cheese, said rabbit. And he took him to the pond so he could drink up the water. When water was coming out of Coyote's eyes and ears, Rabbit ran away, and Coyote was furious. Rabbit knew of a ladder that would take him far away from Coyote, all the way up to the moon, so he began climbing. And that's why they say that Coyote looks up in the sky when he cries in the night. And this is the end of the story my granddad told me.